Hi everyone, Nick here with Able Cine. Sigma recently announced three new focal lengths in their high-speed full-frame cinema prime set. For those unfamiliar with this lens set, the optics in these are based on Sigma's popular art series of still photo primes. Sigma puts these optics in well-built cinema appropriate housings with longer focus throws and de-clicked or stepless irises. The new focal lengths are 28 millimeter, 40 millimeter, and 105 millimeter, of which I have the 40 millimeter and the 105 millimeter here to have a look at. Like the other lenses in the line, these new focal lengths have lightweight housings with a standardized front outer diameter of 95 millimeters. We always appreciate consistency from lens manufacturers in this specification because it makes working with lens accessories like clip-on map boxes so much easier. All three of these are also rated at a maximum aperture of T1.5, making them consistent with most of the rest of the line, with only the widest and most telephoto lenses in the set sinking down to a maximum iris of T2.0. Lastly, each of these lenses keeps with the others in terms of format coverage, projecting to cover up to a full frame sized imager. What's very interesting about these three focal lengths is that they were developed in sort of a reverse order from the rest of the lenses in the set. While the original lenses were adapted from still photo optics, these newer lenses here were developed with the needs of cinematographers and videographers in mind first, and then the optics adapted for still photo use. You can sort of see that in the choice of focal lengths in the set, especially in the 28mm and the 40mm, as these are popular with some cinematographers as alternatives to the more normal 35mm or 50mm focal lengths. Now in a moment we'll have a look through these two focal lengths that I have here using our red weapon camera equipped with a Monstro sensor. The Monstro sensor with its large full format size is going to be able to take full advantage of the image projection out of these lenses but it's not meant to be an exhaustive lens test, more of a preview of the new optics. So you should always keep in mind anytime you're viewing an internet based video with regards to lenses it should not be thought of as a critical analysis of the optics. Now let's have a look at the 40mm first. Now especially when used on a super 35mm sensor, the 40mm gives a natural look that is more selective than a 35mm but without the potential of feeling too telephoto like a 50mm might in some cases. telephoto, the 105mm is a focal length that has traditionally been popular with those shooting portraiture and Sigma has developed this lens with that group chiefly in mind. A few of the technicians we've spoken to over there have lovingly referred to this lens as the bokeh monster. Its out of focus characteristics are very distinct and make for a particular look that's not possible to achieve without the combination of a long telephoto focal length and a wide maximum aperture. you've enjoyed taking a look at these new lenses with me. It's always nice to see a manufacturer expand on an already strong product line. As always, thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.